Hey there, gang, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, the antidote for anxiety. You know, the other day, I found myself listening to a few people that I like to listen to that inspire me and lift me up. And one of them was speaking about anxiety and how it is the new pandemic in society today. So many people have unnecessary anxiety. Well, where does it come from? And how do we get rid of it so that we can live our best life? The only known antidote that I know and others in the field know for anxiety is to cast the way you would cast a fishing line out that anxiety over to a higher authority. Don't own it. Don't grab it. Pass it over. If things aren't working out in your life, don't get anxious about it. Speak to that higher authority maybe. Cast it over and say, Lord, I'm not going to carry this stress right now. I'm going to pass it over to you. My daughter will do well in school. She's going to make me and herself and the whole world proud. The only antidote known for anxiety is to control your thinking and reverse your thinking from stress and worry to faith and hope. Make a decision that you're not going to hold on to what is making you anxious. You know, one of the things that the experts are saying is that our youth are under severe attack through social media to measure up. Like if you're not pretty enough, if you're not tall enough, smart enough, if you don't have enough followers, if I don't have enough likes, oh my God, everything's falling apart. They're talking about suicide rate and mental illnesses among young people going up at an alarming rate. And so I think there's a real clear observation here that we need to make. Anxiety is not good for us. It'll rob us of our peace, our joy, and our happiness. You know, when I found myself as an example in the hospital fighting for my life, I chose to focus on life after that anxiety, after that incident. And I decided that if I was going to be in a wheelchair, I'm going to have a stealth wheelchair. I'm going to have it so that it's set up tech-wise, technology-wise, where I can do everything I can from it, rather than letting it rob me of my peace and my joy. I figured, okay, let me roll with this. And so I think of words like run your race. Don't allow other people, what they have, what you don't have, what they look like that you don't look like. Don't listen, you're beautiful just the way you are. You are perfect just the way you are. Say that to yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I love you. I know that sounds weird. And the first time that I did it, it felt weird. But if you will love yourself, you will reduce the level of anxiety that you have. You will have more peace, more joy, more happiness. And you will fulfill your God-given destiny here on this earth. So that's my message today, gang. I hope you enjoyed it. The only antidote I know for anxiety is cast it out there. Put it out there to the universe. Say, I don't want it. I'm living my best life right now, right here. That's it, gang. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to share it. We'll see you in tomorrow's broadcast.